Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling well. I just wanted to put out this video quickly because um, there's something I would like to share and I think it might be of interest. Um, it's about rewriting um, some answers you get when you ask some questions. Um, it's basically about rewiring my, my roommate <laughs> basically rewiring your brain your program things that have been taught to you and <laughs> sorry getting distracted focus um, so let me dive into it straight away the other day I was thinking about a certain topic and as I didn't get any answers I was trying to ask myself to give me an answer before I went to sleep so basically I was trying to connect to my subconscious in order to get an answer in my dream um, I'm not gonna share what the question was because that's a little bit too private but I'm gonna share the answer basically the dream that I had um, was about my brother's death I in my dream I was at a trial and I was suspected to have killed him and as maybe some of you know my brother died um, of suicide a couple of years ago and of course guilt is always a topic is always a topic not not just if somebody dies of suicide but in general so in my dream I was at a trial and people were suspecting me or actually they were convinced that I murdered him um, so I was arrested I was brought to the court and the attorney wanted to present some proof that I was actually the killer of my brother but turned out that um, they couldn't prove it. Everybody kind of knew it or believed it, but they couldn't prove it. So I, at the end of the trial, as they couldn't prove that I was the killer, I was set free. I could leave the court without being arrested. But, and here comes the tricky thing, when I left the court, I checked my phone and there was an app, an app on my phone where new invoices were coming in. And on, on that app, as soon as I left the court, it was clear that one invoice came in for paying rent, like for a house, an apartment, paying rent on top of the actual rent that I already have to pay. So I had to pay double rent for one month. And I knew that was the price I had to pay. Um, although I wasn't convicted, I still had to pay for what I have done end of dream so when I woke up of course um, the answer to my question was that I feel so guilty I feel so guilty that I make myself pay for something that I actually didn't do that was the answer to my question I repeat it the answer is I have to pay for something that 
I didn't do what people believe that I have done. Which actually means that I myself, I feel so guilty that I make myself pay for what I haven't done. I was the whole day in that feeling, in the feeling of, at one hand, feeling guilty, but what drained me more was the feeling of not being able to get out of the feeling of guilt. I felt like I wanted to move on. I wanted to move on. I wanted to get out of that guilt. I wanted to get out of um, basically that horrible feeling. And I was so frustrated that it would influence my life so negatively. And I knew it already have in, has influenced my life very negatively. So I wanted to get the shit out of there. And I was feeling so trapped in there because it felt so real. It felt real because I thought I cannot change it. I don't know how to move on. And many people when they have dreams and they wake up and they're having a, like, a little bit of an awkward feeling, they very quickly forget it. They, because we are juggling a thousand things in our daily life. We wake up, we have breakfast, we have coffee, then we go on with our life, our work, da 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 da, da right? So we forget the feeling, but we don't process the feeling. Um, and this is what I didn't want to do. I knew it was very important to find a way to get out of the feeling, to process that feeling and not to suppress it or forget it, right? So in the afternoon, I put myself, down to work, to write channeled messages um, in order to get an answer again. And over there came a very clear answer, a very good one, which I really want to like to share. Basically the message out of the channeled message that I was writing was it sounds so stupid because it's, it's, it's so easy to, once you get, you get the clue, once you get the information, it's like, oh yeah, of course, but getting there is so hard. Uh, but anyways, the channel message is, if you ask a question and you don't like the answer, then give yourself another answer. You are allowed to decline, deflect, neglect any answer you don't want to have. You are allowed to change the answer to a question you have asked. That's very powerful. Because often we don't even ask the question, we just get the answer. Like, for example, I want to move to a new house, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, I think it's not possible right now. There's the answer. Not possible right now. Or women, when they weren't allowed to be to go to university and be a lawyer or be a, be a doctor, the, most of them were like not even giving the possibility of the question it was just a no that was the answer right but those women fight for their rights they fought for their right this is why I could go to university nowadays you see what I mean it's just a principle we having our answers so quickly in our brain and we accept them we accept the answers but we don't have to, we don't have to. So when I got that message, I told myself, right, I'm not allowing my subconscious program, old programs of my childhood to tell me that I am guilty of something that I actually didn't do. 
I don't delight to allow my subconscious brain to tell me what is the answer. I am choosing the answer myself. And I'm telling myself one very important thing. I don't want to feel guilty because I am not guilty. I don't punish myself anymore for anything. And that was like a very powerful word for me. I don't punish myself no more for anything. Because, I'm telling you why, because I did a short film called Divine Transformation. And for the short film, I did an explanation video. Um, and in the explanation video, as well as in the short film, I'm talking about punishment, how important it is in our society to not punish anybody anymore for anything, because it just doesn't help in no way. It doesn't mean you have to be careful with people who are doing really bad things or don't, they don't have to face consequences. But punishment is not a solution. So while I was writing that channel message, um, there was another part. And it was if you want to see that society is not punishing anybody anymore, you have to start with yourself. You have to stop to punish yourself. This is the answer. This is the rewritten answer to myself. I will stop punishing myself because I don't want people out there punishing other people. So if I want to have that change, I will start with myself. So my answer, my subconscious answer was I am guilty and I have to pay for my sins and my new answer is I don't punish myself for anything, especially not for things that I'm not responsible for. Rewrite your answers. I wish you a wonderful day. Take good care. I love you very much.